continue our team coverage now with Roseanne Aragon. She's live at Memorial Hermann Hospital in the Med Center. Roseanne, that's where Officer Courtney Waller is being treated. Is there an update on his condition tonight? This is the very latest. We are told that Officer Waller has non-life-threatening injuries and is expected to recover. We are also learning more tonight about the beloved sergeant. The sergeant was sworn in first in August of 1979 and was expected to retire very soon. I will just say this about Sergeant Preston. This man's been around for 41 years and people throw out the word hero all the time. And I'm not calling him a hero because he, the way he died today, but he is a hero. Sergeant Harold Lloyd Preston, a man who spent more than half his life giving his all. The Houston Police Department watched him grow. They are out on the front line every, every single day. Tuesday morning was no different, leading the response to a disturbance call. He's leading with his men and women on the streets. Sergeant Preston took multiple shots to the head and a shot to the shoulder embedded into his spine. A three-year veteran of the force, Officer Courtney Waller, was also shot in the arm and is expected to survive. Both were taken to this level one trauma center. The support from all over this community felt. It seems that it's always the good ones that go first. But this one is very personal to me. And so I offer my sincere condolences. Despite doctors' efforts, Preston's wounds were unsurvivable. I can tell you that, thank God, we were able to keep him alive and in time for his mother, who I absolutely know. It's a wonderful family. His 23-year-old daughter and other family members that were able to come here, including his fiance and his ex-wife, who's here with the daughter and said it's love of her life and he's a wonderful person. He's now surrounded by his brothers and sisters in blue. <laughs> This hero's remains were taken to the medical examiner's office. The chief says Sergeant Preston was the best of us. He's as good as he was as a cop, he was a better human being. And there was also a very quiet and solemn moment of prayer earlier outside these ER doors. A powerful image of community coming together during this very difficult time. Reporting live from the Med Center, Roseanne Aragon, KPRC. Channel 2 News. What a senseless and terrible loss, Roseanne. We're praying for the family tonight. You saw